A rainbow beauty cake. That is what I'm going to be showing you how to create today. Hello everyone, my name is Billie Eilish and today I'm going to be showing you my third attempt at a beauty cake and I'm extremely proud of this, so let's get started. Now before we get into the video, there are links in the description box if you want to help fund relief for animals and human beings who have been affected by the wildfires in Australia. So if you can donate, please do. Now I have been extremely inspired by the beauty gurus lately. I don't know why. I watched Glow Up on Netflix and it's such an art form, man. So I decided that I wanted to explore beauty within cake. This is my third attempt. I'm very proud of this. I think that the face is getting better. There are still a lot of mistakes that I've made, but that's okay, I'm fine with that. I'm curious about where this is gonna take me, and I'm so happy that you guys are interested in seeing how this progresses throughout the rest of the year. Hopefully I can start to create some really sort of imaginative things. So let's get started. Now to create the hair of this beauty, I'm using my adjustable cake pan to create this shape. I knew that I wanted it sort of like mid-length and I wanted a lot of volume on the sides. So one of the things that I forgot about when I was creating the first two cakes was creating volume on the sides. I didn't even think that it was supposed to be a curly headed cake, which is why I had to add fond into like the cake board at the end. And I wanted to make sure that that didn't happen with this cake, which is why I went with the triangular shape. So that there's body on the sides, but there isn't that much volume at the top. Now I'm using my skull cake mold. I cut out the middle of the cake so I can place that in and just started to work on the hair. I'm still trying to feel out how much texture should be in the hair. How much am I actually carving away? What parts of the hair are towards the back of the head and are just like showing through at the front? After that, I moved on to my skull. Now for the skull, there were a lot of things that I wanted to improve on from the previous cakes that I noticed when I was sculpting and trying to morph the skull shape into like an actual face. So I didn't want the eyes to be too sunken in, so I added more cake ball dough to add some what looks like eyeballs. I cut away a little bit of the bone where the nose would be because I wanted to shape that better with fondant. And then I filled in the nose and the mouth with cake ball dough. Now I also wanted to make sure that this wasn't like really pushed in at the cheeks. I wanted there to be a little bit of fat. Um, so I'm adding some cake ball dough to the cheeks as well. All of that right before I gave this entire cake a crumb coat. I got a tiny piece of fondant to create the ball of her nose. Then I added a huge piece of skin tone fondant to create my figure. Now this is lighter than usual. I mean, this is like an unrealistic skin tone because I wanted it to be almost like white. A little bit more color than Robert Pattinson in Twilight and a little bit less color than a normal person. So automatically when I start carving and creating this cake, I work on the nose. It's really hard to create the nose. If the fondant gets too dry and it starts cracking, it cracks so easily with these face cakes. So I wanna make sure that I get the nostrils and the bridge of the nose just right before it starts to like lose all that moisture. I kind of failed a little bit, but I think for the most part, I got the shape just right. It's just, it's hard to create a perfect shape before the fondant starts to dry. Now we got a crooked smile because I love crooked smiles and this is the first cake that I added a crooked smile to. The other cakes, the first two cakes I created, they're like frowning. They like have no expression. It's terrible, but it was a work in progress. Now for the hair of my beauty cake, I went with silver. And I'm using the satin ice silver fondant. 
So a lot of the silver work that I did was already done for me. I'm gonna add a little bit more silver with luster dust at the end, but I just like how light and shiny this fondant is. Now on goes some texture. I didn't want to add too many layers of fondant to create the hair of this piece. So I'm adding some texture with fondant tools to create the hair underneath. And I wanted this to have like curl, but not as much curl as the first cake I did. I just wanted like very loose waves that kind of had bangs that like cover the side of her eyes. <laughs> That's, I don't know what style this is called. I probably should have researched that. Who knows? I don't know though. And to create like the perfect bangs and the perfect waves, I'm just adding strips of fondant to create each of the sides. And I'm just gonna blend it in with my fondant tools. I liked it. I wanted it to be messy, kind of punk rock. That's what I was going for. Especially since the hair is silver. I mix a little bit of silver luster dust with some black food coloring and some magic sauce and, and just started to highlight and darken some of her hair. I wanted it to look like the roots were black, you know? And so we're gonna highlight the roots at the top where it parts. Yeah. I also started to just darken different places so it gave it more texture and it made it look a little less flat. Yeah. And then on went my silver luster dust just to highlight everything. Ooh, it's looking good. So far, very good. Now because I wanted this to be very punk rock, I didn't really want there to be too much structure when it came to adding the rainbow to her face. I looked at a lot of different looks and like there was like rainbow on the eyes and the, the, and they had the, the cut crease. Oh, I, I'm using a lot of words I don't know right now. <laughs> I'm not confident, but whatever. I'm probably gonna make another one where it's more put together. But for this cake, I really wanted it to match the sort of messy hairstyle. So I'm just making this sort of like a watercolor effect. And like I said, I wanted it to be like punk rock. I was inspired by like music and sound waves. And that's what I went for when I was creating this look. Just a rainbow watercolor sound wave across her eyes. I wanted her eyes to be closed because it made it easier for me since I don't have to create an eyeball. Eyeballs are hard. And I was like, not today. You're not gonna ruin my day today, eyeball. So instead, I'm just adding some black eyelashes. You know like when beauty gurus, when they do like um the eyelash or the this part and they close their eyes like this and then so you can see it. Ooh, I saw that, I like that. I'm gonna put that on my cake. For that, I added some eyebrows. The eyebrows are the worst things in the world. I wish we just didn't have them so that I didn't have to put them on the cake because trying to make sure that the right eyebrow looks like the left eyebrow was the worst. Luckily, the hair on the one side covers some of this eyebrow so it doesn't have to look exact, but I was stressing out so much. Now because the skin tone is very light and the hair is on the gray scale, I decided that I wanted to give her a really nice red lip. So we've got a little bit of red and pink food coloring painted on to give her that nice crooked smile. And voila, my rainbow makeup cake was complete. Oh man, I struggled with this hairstyle, you guys. I know this looks very messy, very chaotic, but Trust me, I had to make sure that it was messy in all the right ways. But I'm super proud of it and I love the fact that I used silver instead of just like blonde or brown, which is what I was originally gonna go for. Who is this girl? Where is she going? Does she go to Coachella? Who's her favorite band? I don't know. <laughs> Tell me in the comments. Who do you think she is? Where is she going? She doesn't look like a Coachella girl. Coachella girls don't look like this. Maybe, I don't know, I've never been to Coachella. I'm curious, there are a ton of beauty gurus that you recommended to me. I started checking out their channels. If there are specific videos that you want me to see and try to sort of duplicate within 
in my beauty cakes, then let me know in the comments because I think that'd be really cool. Do like a Nikki Tutorials makeup look on a beauty cake or like James Charles. I could do that. Hope. Hopefully, I could do that. Actually, the way that my work is progressing, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Peace!